Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video is that time of the year again. We are due for our Mecca Beauty Loop quarterly box. This is the level three box and they released today. So if you haven't got yours already, um, you can get yours with an order. I think it's over $25 online or you can just go to your local store if it is open and you can just ask for your box and they will give it to you on a silver platter. Not on a silver platter, but they'll give it to you. Um, so yeah, I always do these unboxings each quarter because I know a lot of you don't have access to a store. So you like to watch these videos to see what's in the boxes to see whether it's worth placing an order to get your box. So that's why I always do these unboxings and I'm always really excited to share with you what I get in my box. And I'm always really excited to see what you guys got in your box. So if you have already got your Mecca Beauty Loop box, then let me know down in the comments box what you got in your box and if you're happy with it, um, what you wish was in your box and all that jazz. But without further ado, let's jump on in to the box and see what's inside. This one is feeling quite weighty, so I'm excited to see what's inside. I can see some products in here that I've tried before, but that's all right. So we might start with that product because, you know, we probably, most of us, I think, would have already received this product in a previous Beauty Loot box. But this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I know it's pronounced Boom Boom Cream, but I'm Australian. <laughs> And I just have to say bum bum cream. Um, I have a tub of this in the full size on my bedside table. I got it in a kit, uh, I think in the Christmas sets last year. I really like this stuff. My husband really likes it. And we always have a little chuckle every time we use it because um, even though we both know it's pronounced boom boom, we have to say bum bum every time. It's just too funny not to say the Brazilian bum bum cream. But this it smells like... It smells like kind of like caramelized popcorn to me. Um, some people say it smells like pistachio to them. Um, I love the like caramelly scent of this. So I'm a massive fan of this stuff. I always love getting samples. I actually have the body mist right here on my shelf back here. That's how much I love the scent. I know some people absolutely hate this scent. So it's um, very polarizing, but I'm a fan. I like the cream. It's just hella expensive. So I only ever buy samples or like deluxe sample sizes or full sizes when I get them in kits because otherwise it's too expensive. This here is a 25 mil um, size pot. So if you're using this all over your body, this will probably only last you like one application. But I traditionally only ever use this like on my hands as a nighttime hand moisturizer. So these little pots do last me a little bit longer. And then the next one is a pretty exciting one. One that I've never tried before. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is a 1.3 gram sample. I think I might like this. <laughs> um, just the way that it looks on my skin is really nice. Um, it's like really kind of blurred my skin. I will say when it comes to pots of powder, little pots like this kind of drive me crazy because I am a big fluffy powder brush that's almost like the size of my face kind of girl. So little pots like this are really quite annoying because it's really hard to get a decent size brush in there, but I will definitely give it a try and I'll see how I like it. And because this is a loose powder, this pot will probably take me a little while to use up because loose powders take forever to get through. So it's a decent size sample, I think, being a loose powder. The next one, ooh, okay. The next one is another product from Amore Pacific. I've tried a few products from Amore Pacific and I've always been quite underwhelmed by them. They are ridiculously expensive. Amore Pacific prices are like in the hundreds of dollars for their products. So. I always appreciate samples like this, but I always know that I'm never probably going to buy the full size just because that's too much money to be dropping. But this is the Amore Pacific Moisture Plumping Nectar Cream. This is an eight mil sample. I will also say I always find the Amore Pacific products are quite heavily scented. And this one's not too bad. Once again, it has like that kind of baby wipe smell to it and this pot will probably take me maybe a week and a half to two weeks to get through but once again it is still only quite a small pot and these are hella expensive this eight mil pot right here is probably worth like 200 dollars because i think that was roughly how much the last pot of a more pacific cream 
uh, was valued at um, when I got the last one. I think it was like almost $200 for the tub this size. And the last one is a pretty exciting product. This is the NARS The Multiple in the color, oh gosh. This is the NARS Multiple in the color Orgasm. If this was like any other color, any other bloody color, it would have been amazing, but uh, I'm so over, I'm so over this color from NARS. Like it's just been done to death. This sample is a four gram sample. Let me just wind it up. So this is how much you get in the pot. It's a cream um, like blush stick. You've all seen what orgasm looks like before, but there's a little swatch of it there. It's not going to show up on camera very well because I don't have my ring light on because, you know, I get the reflection off my glasses when I'm wearing my glasses. So I always often turn it off when I'm filming these videos. I'm just building it up a little bit. Um, so that's it there. We've we've all seen orgasm before. We all know what it looks like. It's like a pinky color with a gold shimmer through it. But I would have loved like any like any other color from the range, as opposed to the orgasm color. I would have preferred any other color because um, I'm so over orgasm. I still have. I still have a full orgasm blush in my collection that I'm trying to get through. I'm eventually going to try and pan it, but I know it's going to take me forever. And I just don't love the orgasm blush as much as I used to. Like it used to be an absolute cult favorite from the whole community. And I just, I'm so over it. I'm so over it, especially because NARS come out with like every second thing in the NARS range with the color orgasm. It drives me mental. That is it for my box. Um, a product I've already tried, which like I'm happy to have it, but I'm a little bit disappointed. A product that I'm excited to try the formula, not so excited about the color. A product that I'll never buy, but I'll give it a try. And then the powder is probably the only thing that I'm really excited about. Overall, I think it's a really good um, range of products in the box. I think it's a good value box, but I'm just a little bit disappointed in like the color selections, the fact that it's a double up on a product that they quite regularly put in these boxes. Overall, I'm happy with the box. It's a free box that I get with my membership at Mecca but I would have preferred other products, especially because there's been some newer products released from some of their brands recently. I would have liked to see them in the box. Um, and being a level three, I feel like the level three should be the ones that always get the newer stuff. But who am I to tell Mecca what to put in their beauty loop boxes? Anyway, as I said at the start of the video, if you do already have your Mecca Beauty Loop box or when you get your Mecca Beauty Loop box, let me know down in the comments box what you got in your box and if you're happy with it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching my Mecca Beauty Loop unboxings. If you are new around here and you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy, especially those of you that are in Melbourne and any hot spots. I hope that you are looking after yourselves and taking all the extra precautions that you need to do to stay safe and keep you and your family safe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.